Welcome back. You with FBC Sports. The National Stadium is set to be Fiji's first real international sporting venue. Closed now for a $13 million facelift, it's due to open next April. Just in time for the Fiji finals, but there could be a bigger game in store for the venue in 2013. It will be a night game with either the Wallabies or the All Blacks next year to cement the National Stadium status as an international venue. The Wallabies or the All Blacks. Uh, and I, we were only just talking about it today. And one thing I'd like to do is actually do it as a nighttime game, which would certainly satisfy a lot of Australian TV. And then we can show off our new lighting systems and that. The Sports Council is working really hard to get the stadium as an international venue. This was one of the reasons why the IRB 7 second was held only once in Fiji and never returned. Athletes who are flying to Keynes in Australia this weekend are the last to have used of what is left of the tracks before it is carted to Lawanga Park and Ra. The all-weather tracks will be used to make 100-meter running tracks at these venues. Change rooms will be upgraded to the best with special attention being given to the drainage, the turf and lights. We are having to spend the right money to do it properly so that we can get the international teams back. We can get a, a part on the International Rule 7 circuit, which we're hoping we will have from 2014. Uh, international, not just rugby, but also soccer. The National Stadium first opened its doors in 1979 when Fiji hosted its first SPG. This Suva City icon is up for a facelift. It holds many memories, the wins, the losses, the track kings and the track queens, the rugby and soccer matches. In 10 months, it will reopen as Fiji's real international venue. Shalvin Chand, FBC Sports. Fiji rugby's Achilles heel has been the scrums. While our backline can be one of the deadliest in the world, said pieces like the scrums are vital. Christopher Chan spoke to prop Jerry Yanuyanutawa on what he thinks of our scrums. Crouch. Touch. Push. Engage. Scrums have been one of our weaknesses, but more recently, it's been punching above its weight. Scrummaging is a, is a really uh, technical skill. It's probably, you know, there's only, it's a limited part in, in, the, in a game of rugby, but, you know, it's, the, the scrummaging, in this team is is, is definitely uh, improving. Yanu Yanutawa, who plays his rugby for the ACT Brumbies, brings with him vast experience from the Super Rugby competition. But he knows fighting for places in the flying Fijians is not as easy as it looks. You know, it's 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 competition every day, and yeah, and, and guys uh, have their own strengths. But you know, you, you've just got to back yourself, and uh, hopefully the coaches, you know, when they do give the, that opportunity, that you uh, you keep taking it and, 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 and proving yourself. The national side wants to beat Tonga in the final Pacific Nations Cup match to restore some pride after consecutive losses to Samoa and Scotland. Christopher Chant, FBC Sports. They are the friendly Islanders, but Tonga is here to beat Fiji to claim a second place finish in the Pacific Nations Cup when the two sides meet on Saturday. Christopher Chand again, taking a look at the Tongans' Fijian connection. Alipate Fatafehi and Viliame Ongi both have links to Fiji. Fatafehi grew up in Singatoka and Ongi's mum is Fijian. I know it's going it's to be hard this weekend, you know, especially coming this is Fijian, where I born. But, you know, for me, uh, I born here in Singatoka and I grew up in Tonga. So that's where my heart is. So it's going to be hard, but I'll, I'll, I'll give all. I give it all for my country, that's why. So who do their parents cheer for? Tonga or Fiji? Every time we play against Fiji, see during for Fiji and my dad for Tonga. Yeah. While the match is a dead rubber, with Samoa already winning the PNC title, for Tonga, it's always about beating Fiji on their home soil. We've done it in the past. I don't see why we can't. Uh, I think we've we got the uh, good... Uh, Good boys here, and uh, our, our confidence has uh, been building ever since the uh, Samoa game. I know it's the uh, end of the comp. Samoa's got the cup. Congratulations to them. But um, we still got a test miss uh, to play on Saturday, so we're lo really looking forward to it. You can expect the Tongans to dominate in the forwards. Rugby's a game that's really decided very much by numbers one to eight. Uh, that's decides uh, the quality of the possession that you get. 
But we feel we've got a very balanced team this year with some strong attacking players in the backs and we want to make sure they've got quality ball to play with. Daikale Tahi will be out to beat the flying Fijians before they return to the Kingdom of Tonga. Christopher Chan, FBC Sports. An interesting fast-paced game. That's what the Fiji Under-16 basketball team will show off at the 3-on-3 youth tournament in Australia. Akusita Tali with the details. Basketball in Fiji has lacked the basics. These boys and girls are looking to change that. This game it takes everything back to basics, eh? which has uh, been lacking for the last past years for these basketball reps nowadays. Mostly development is where we learn basics. Eh? That's what we are trying to do here. The Oceania 3-on-3 three -three tournament is the first for the region hosted by Australia. Eight locals will represent Fiji in the tournament next week. With only six players on the court, it demands high-level skills and fitness. For the part of development side, we are trying to expose these kids to kind of level kind of competition we will going to see overseas here. But we are so grateful to take this team down. All these kids are really preparing, uh, training well every afternoon. And they are looking forward to, to the tour down in Australia. The team leaves on Sunday, aiming to use the tournament as a learning curve and to cement their place as a force to reckon with in Oceania basketball. The tournament starts on the 27th. Akusita Tale, FBC Sports. There was a break in the action at the Euro 2012 Football Championships today, but the quarterfinals resume tomorrow. The Czech Republic takes on Portugal in the sudden death round, but there is a bigger decision pending. With co-hosts Poland and Ukraine both out, their passionate fans are undecided who to support. Polish fans still proudly fly their country's colours, but the co-hosts are now torn over who to support after both they and Ukraine were knocked out. Portugal, I think. Portugal is my favourite team. I think we'll keep our fingers crossed for the Czechs because we lost to them. So it would be great if they could win the title. Then we can say the only match we lost at this tournament was to the European champions. The city of Warsaw will play host to the first quarter-final between the Czech Republic and Portugal. The Czechs will hope for a repeat of their 1996 quarter-final with Portugal, which they won 1-0. They finished as runners-up that year, and as the unfancied side in this tie, they'll be trying to make their underdog status count. Portugal has great players. Nani and Ronaldo are very good when it's one-on-one. -on -one. Moutinho and Morelis in the build-up. They also have a great defence. They're good all round. How to play against them? A good defence. Our players working together and trying to counter-attack. Portugal have gained momentum since losing their first group match to Germany. Captain Cristiano Ronaldo has found his stride with two goals in their win over the Netherlands. And after reaching the final in 2004, he and his teammates know they can progress. When we came here to the tournament, nobody considered us as favourites. We have to face reality and know it's going to be very, very difficult to get through. We have to think match by match. The best example is what I experienced at my club Chelsea in the Champions League. Our next match, we have to give our best to win it. If we can manage the same as Chelsea, it will be a dream come true. And that was your sports news for tonight.